I'm going to start at the end and take you to the beginning because we have just been on the most amazing day out at Claire Dyson's Water Treadmill and Rehabilitation Centre. Hope went on the water treadmill, which was incredible, and went in the solarium and also went on the viro floor. So I'm going to be showing you all of that now. And oh, I just want to say what an amazing time we had there and that Hope had there. She's really enjoyed herself. And oh, it's so amazing to be able to go somewhere like that that helps with horse fitness and yeah for really helping hope on her fitness journey when we arrived at the facility we were greeted by lisa oaks who is part of the equine treadmill team and she gave us a tour of the incredible facilities that are available at claire dyson's equine water treadmill and rehabilitation center i have to say that Lisa was so incredibly friendly and really was so knowledgeable on everything that was available. So this, this is the salt room. So the salt room's really good. He's been, he's just about to come out, so that's why he's getting a bit impatient. Um, but in here, um, it's great for, you know, if horses have got sort of asthma and things like that, that's um, what helps them sort of internally. But also if you have horses that have um, sweet itch or you know that's sort of like the skin infections you just can't quite get rid of sweet. like you yeah or like mud fever it's just it, it's just you just can't quite get on top of it um it seems to do sort of really well with that as well okay so, so what is it like the rock salt stuff or is it no, salt that actually so is going through i can show you we've got so it's kind of it's a um it's like a saline solution here and it comes in round and then you can see it's quite like milk come out it's like they're in a movie <laughs> he has just been worked that's why he's a bit sweaty um but yeah you can see here he gets complete fog don't slip over oh it's really. quite wonderful um, so it comes out through here um Oh, yeah. And then you can fit two horses in here if you want. Or we do have one guy that comes in. He's got an eventer, and he has he's the horse is here and he stands there because he like there's a benefits obviously because for salt, he's having the therapy salt therapy. As well. Yeah. Oh, I can't smell it. Can't. It's got no smell. Can't taste it's, it or smell it. But sometimes if horses are here, they do tend to lick. <laughs> like it visits like a salt lick, isn't it? You can really see it coming out. Yeah. And obviously you've got the solarium, which is always, you know, it's always nice, I think, to have a solarium. Um, especially if they're, you know, come off the treadmill and they, they can get a bit cold. Yeah, so wow. obviously, we'll, so um, Hope will go in here afterwards just so she stays nice and warm um, <laughs> when we, after we've treated her. Which is quite nice. And oh, she'll love that. Then the final one we have here is the Vita floor. So it, you can either have vibrations that go side to side or up and down, but they've actually... So the floor vibrates? Yeah. I'll, I'll turn it on for you. Right, come you stand ready? on here, Leah. Come and feel this vibrating floor. Let me give it a second and it'll start. Oh, my word. But horses love it. I don't um, know if you can, you can hear this. I can definitely feel it, but... um. The whole floor is vibrating. It's actually really quite strong. But basically the way in which we have it, so um, Claire actually managed to get two two floors here. So that you could normally just have like one, I think they're going, yeah, that way and that way. And you, it's really funny when horses go on it, they always seem to stand at a diagonal. So they have like their hind on one of the panels and their sort of um, four on the other. And um, basically the... Which the, feels really nice. <laughs> really nice. Like it's so chill, doesn't it? So it really helps um, with sort of circulation and swelling and also um, just like to strengthen bones and things. So if you think with the way the vital floor is here, it's actually vibrations that go up and down. Yeah. So it's putting pressure upon um, your like hard, hard tissue and then releasing it. So it's just increasing their bones. Oh, so it so feels, have, like, feels amazing. Like it feels that. like an amazing massage. It's great, isn't it? Vital floor. I just feel like that a body plus massage. Clearing your lungs in the salt room. I mean, no stopping us now. <laughs> you're, you're going to take Hope back as a racehorse. Oh, well. 
that or like oh, she could walk in a straight line that would be <laughs> that would be good <sighs> yeah we'll get her off and wash her down and get her tail back to john and oh. there we go <laughs> bless her <laughs> What we do is we will pick their hooves out and sort of wash them. Minimum, we like to wash their legs, but obviously if they've got mud on them, that's going to potentially sort of fall yeah. out as well. We'll get rid of that. Um, and it's just to protect, prevent the water on the treadmill getting dirty and clogging up the filters. We still clean the filters out every day, but hopefully less to clean out. Obviously as well, when we're um, picking their well, hooves out, she hasn't got shoes on, but we just sort of make sure there's no loose shoes and things because or no nails sticking out or road nails because that could potentially damage the treadmill belt. I'm really surprised her tail went to that, into that tiny little wrap. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's thinking, what on earth are you doing with what me now? What is about to happen, hey? Oh, she's thinking, no. Go on. Oh, she's noticed it's a different floor. Come on, man. Good girl. So we'll just walk her through it a few times just so she gets happy being inside there and then we can shut the doors. I don't think she'll care. <laughs> you could, I think you, you could literally it's fill it to the top. Sure yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, bless her. And she's very good at getting out to doing stuff. No, not with us. <laughs> not, not today. Not today, Ho. You happy? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. So the plan is, is that you get them to walk back and then when they take their step forwards, that's yeah. where the water treadmill goes. So it kind of goes with them. Good girl. Come on. Walk on. Walk on. Good girl. Walk on. Hope. Right, oh my worry. gosh, so she can't smash out the back. <laughs> this is much better than lunging. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. This is just like nothing they've ever done ever. Good 
go. She'll probably prefer it with the water in. She loves being in the water. Yeah. Loves being in the rivers. <laughs> This is amazing. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. That's it. Well done. Good girl. Seems to have got it a bit now. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. You're a good girl. Yeah, that would be great. So what you're looking for, ideally, is you want to be able to see there's a nice straight line almost from their tail up to their ears, because that means they're walking on a straight line. Right. And then also you want to just, if you have a look and you want them to be working evenly on both sides, mm -hmm. so you can see obviously she'll come higher and lower yeah. over her blue heels here. And it, you just want everything in her shoulders, you want them all to kind of be as even even as possible, straight as possible. But you'll find when they start getting tired or when they're a little bit weak, they'll see how they're waving a little bit more. Yeah. That's just that's just weakness because you know she hasn't done this before. No. Um, but you can see how like her sort of like her hind limbs and her forelimbs are working. So it's really going to engage her um, engage her limbs, make her flex more, engage the core and hopefully burn some of the some of the fat off. <laughs> some of the chub, yes. This is incredible. It, it really is. is incredible. And then also another great thing to do is if you look from like from that window, you can just what you want, you want to walking on two tracks, walk on three and some horses walk on four. So sometimes if they walk on four, it's yeah. because they're they're sort of more narrow behind than they are in front. Yeah. Or like vice versa, they could be wider behind now in front. It's... She looks bit... like she's walking on three tracks. Yeah, that's, that's that's possible. But again, that's just that could be a weakness somewhere, or it could be that she needs to see um, a physio or something because she's a bit tight somewhere, so she's overcompensating or bending. Yeah. Um, the other thing you can look at while you're there, if you look at her hocks and just see how high they're coming, because again, you want them coming up to the same height with every stride. And then if you went from there and go round to the side, you want to just see if she's tracking up. So where she is taking off from her forelimb, you want her hind limb to be coming into the same place. So they could, for some horses, they could be over tracking. So as they come up here, they then their hind limb is then coming in forward. Or it could be it's not fully tracking up, so their forelimb comes down here, but their hind limb is going behind it. But ideally, you want the hind one to come off where the front one is. Right. Ideally. It doesn't ideally. happen every time. <laughs> this is just how, you know, if the horse was to be perfect, to be on perfect. And again, from the side, you can just see they are flexing evenly on all fours. She's doing such a good job, isn't she? First time on, brilliant. Uh, you're on 5.2 in nine minutes, so she's doing really well. Thank you.
See how she's just started, like sort of swaying and sort of getting a bit, you know, a bit all over the place. Yeah. Because she's like tired now. Oh bless her. Tired. But it doesn't take a lot. <laughs> no, it doesn't take a lot for any horse on hair. It, it is, really? Oh yes, completely. Because if you think about it, when the way in which they're working, they're having to lift all their limbs higher, which is engaging their core. I said that it's like a full body workout. So any horse that's on here they don't have no horse goes on here for an hour like you score for an hour you're talking 20 minutes 20 minutes 20, 25 for you know a really really fit horse that's all ready to go um you know but um but yeah the horses like they don't need to go on here for a ridiculous amount of time you, you've got um so as the as the limbs are coming through the water you've got the resistance of that so, so that um will um increase the resistance and therefore put more pressure on the limb so as they're trying to come through it they're having to exert more energy more cardio more muscular to get through it um but then also because of the water height they're then lifting their limbs up higher as well to try and get up and over and through it um, you've got right. the you've got the buoyancy which is going to help um, if they are already slightly larger <laughs> she's definitely slightly, <laughs> slightly larger, slightly larger. Um, the the buoyancy is taking some of that um, the weight and the pressure off their joints too mm -hmm. so again it's working brilliantly for that water treadmill just does everything it's, it's, all you it's need. just amazing <laughs> Oh, ho! So we'll wash all the water off her now and um, then she can go into the solarium so she doesn't get cold. We can dry her off and then take a tail bandage off and she's good to go. Or we can pour in the vice actually if you want to. Oh, yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. We'll dry her off a little bit first so she doesn't get too cold. Release the tail. <laughs> Are you tired? She's yawning now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard work. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's go. In we go. It's warm in here, Dopey. Well done. Good girl. Hope in the solarium. <laughs> so when we're drying them off, off, we just try to make sure we get sort of around the girth area. Because mm -hmm. um, that bit, you know, if it stays a bit warm and a bit damp, it can yeah. just get a little bit sore for them. Especially if they're pink skinned as I think Hope She's is. very pink skinned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so lovely to her as well. <laughs> yeah, you're with it. Princess party for her. Yes. Like a full spa day. That's what this is, isn't it? It's like an amazing cool spa. Yeah. Equine spa. Yes, equine spa. We haven't quite got to the face masks yet, <laughs> but you know, I'm sure if there's a way. <laughs> Let's get a little dice in there, brush out. <laughs> Does she want the blow dry today? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she'd be really good, wouldn't she, with a hairdryer? She seems to be yeah, just bomb she doesn't care. I do so many things to her that, that other people just wouldn't even consider doing to their horse. And I think, well, at least I can do anything. She yeah. gets scared now and again. Oh, who but doesn't? She gets over it pretty quick. Yeah.
But you can sort of see with their breathing, she's clearly worked hard on yes. the... On the treadmill. Well, just walking from the field up the track to get on the box, she was out of breath, so... Oh, hello. Ooh. It's so nice. Office. Have you felt how warm it is? No. This, this one... Yeah, if you stand here, it's really... It's lovely. Oh, my word! I know. It's great, isn't it? So will another horse go straight on there now? Yeah. Yeah. Be ready, just yeah, ready, ready to go. Um, because we we do have so many horses come here, we do tend mm -hmm. to have like one come up, next one on, and otherwise we'll never get through them all. <laughs> the Vita floor. Oh, she's thinking. Oh no, what now? When they, they all do this when they first come in, they tend to have a bit of a wander and just see where they feel most comfortable. But it does tend to be on a bit of a diagonal. <laughs> <That's different. laughs> what is that? What is that hope? She's not bothered by the treadmill, bothered by the vibrating floor. I wouldn't have thought you'd have noticed. It's really strong vibration though, isn't it? Yeah. But it's, it's going to work really well for her again because of the vibration, it's going to make her engage herself and hold herself properly. And again, use those muscles. It might be because she's a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes it. I think she likes it as well. No, we're not kicking doors. Go on, move away. Silly girl. Mind your nose. It's quite nice when they come here regularly mm. because they can kind of switch off and not be looking around at everything that's going on. She's getting brave now. It's out there looking for the stallion, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there is one just outside. I don't think they are today. Yeah, this is always a set 20 minutes um, and the, the treadmill obviously depends on how they're feeling and if, what, what exactly you're trying to achieve from it. Because mm. obviously if, with the treadmill, if it's like a tendon injury or something like that, you don't want to be given them for 20 minutes. No. You'll possibly break them more, which is the opposite of what we're trying to achieve. So is this the next one to go on the yes. treadmill? Yeah. There we go. She's all oh. done. You look very chilled out, Hope. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? Bless her. Come on, then, you. You gonna come? Good girl. <laughs> it's dragged oh. all the feathers out as well, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, I bet you feel strange now, because I did when I came off there. All worn out now. She's just so sweet, isn't yes, she? She is. You're lucky to have your mummy, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always the option that you can come here on your fitness livery. How does that work? So you just have to let Claire know like what dates you want to come or how often you want to do it. And yeah. um, then I think with her, potentially it'd be best for her to go on the, the treadmill rather than ridden if you haven't quite got a saddle for her. Well, it's having a girl, so that's the problem. Oh, or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they come hand in hand. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so we can, um, yeah, we can do that, pop on the treadmill. You just let us know how long you want her to be here for and we can treadmill every day, mm. send you pictures and things. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, Open. Well, we've done that with a, with a few horses and it's, it's, you know, the results that we can get when we've got them here and... Not too many snacks, I'm afraid. Not too many snacks. There's always snacks. <laughs> always. That's why I've got, wow, I've got in my, my other coat, I've got, come it's on, got pockets full of snacks. Good girl. Go on then. That's oh. it. Oh, her legs have gone to jelly. <laughs> oh no. Oh it's like no, she's going Hope. downstairs after the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it was leg day today. Oh. Come on. Come on, do your spin. Oh, that's it. That's There's it. this one of these bars just here. And she stands on it all the way home. <laughs> you might not stand on it today because you might be a bit tired. <laughs> tired. Oh, so I've had funny. a lovely time, thank you. Oh, no, you're so welcome.